What's good everyone? I am shed hunting today and I hope that I find something because it is March 25th so I think most of the bucks are going to be shed. I am in Missouri so um, I'm at the spot that I hunt. I was here a few weeks ago and we just found some old ones so I'm going to kind of venture and check out some spots within this place that I've never been to um just to see if I can find anything and then I'm gonna hit my usual spots and hope that I find something <laughs> so I'm gonna spend today and tomorrow just covering ground um and I'll do my best to kind of give you guys some like tips that I think help me find sheds and uh hopefully hopefully I'm right so we'll see how that goes but I'm excited I love this place and the weather is like perfect because it's not super sunny, it's not super hot, um, so it should be good conditions to find sheds. Unfortunately, most beds are not along the main trails. These are really, really tough. Okay, I gotta face my hair. Not much getting through this, I don't think. depending on where you are thick thick cover is good but it's usually not enough to just be thick deer like to bed um, with like thermal cover so basically anything that's gonna block a lot of wind block snow now you got to think about what, what kind of weather you're having over the winter when they're when they're dropping antlers so it's thick but none of this, there's a few cedars, like, I'm checking around these cedars, which, I won't lie to you, seems like a few beds around here. So I might check them a little better, but. You gotta find where they, gotta find where the deer are, not where you think they are. So, find the sign. and wherever you can get through because this stuff is gnarly.
pretty good. Super fresh. So this area, I haven't been in here in at least a year, maybe two years. Um, this tends to be doe bedding, it's kind of a hill. And then on the back side, I've never been that far back, so that's kind of what I want to do today, is get back in really, really deep where I've never been and see if it see if it looks good for either sheds or for maybe next year. Um, but I've only pretty much hunted here forward. So, good sign. It's a deadhead, not sheds, but pretty cool. The genetics around here are seriously so similar. Like, does that not look like the buck I shot? I think so. My Missouri deer. Well, it's not sheds, but it's it's a find. Pretty cool. It looks really good in here. I just found the biggest rub I've ever seen in my life, and I wish I was exaggerating. <laughs> you guys. The gouges on it are as big as my finger. Go the whole way down. nuts is that? Like here. Think of a little comparison. That's a wide tree. <laughs> Crazy. No sheds yet, which is a little frustrating, but that, that is worth it. All right, I had to take my camera out because I literally been trying to rush back to, get, to not lose daylight. Um, I found one. Finally, it took literally all day. little snail on there <laughs> so for sure an old one but that actually looks like the buck I missed in Missouri this year the front curling up like that or no just kidding that one curled down that's kind of cool nice okay I'm super excited because that's that's a good one um, but I guess if I have a tip as far as finding this thing, it would be to walk an area more than once and try coming at it from different angles. Because I walked by this, like not within like eyesight, but I walked kind of up around this like um, high point and this was down on the flat. So, you know, I don't know, only a few hundred yards, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna circle back and see if I can see anything and sure enough that's where it was so kind of just never know where 
where they're gonna be. But I'm losing daylight, so I'm thinking this will be the last one I find. Supposed to get lucky along this creek. But I'm kind of booking it back because I'm pretty far in, but I am happy. I'm happy with that, I will take that. Hopefully we find more tomorrow. All right, so I made it back to the access road. I am still about a mile from my car, but I don't like to walk out in the daylight in case there's a weirdo. So I'm waiting for a little bit dark. But I'm sitting here looking at the shed, and at first, uh, my first reaction was it's old because it was pretty bleached on this side. But I'm looking at the pedicle, and there is a small portion, this is gonna be interesting, small portion of the wax ring still left on it. This little gray speck and this little white speck. Um, which is an indicator to me that it's from this year. And to be honest, it's really not that bleached because um, it was face down. So it was just this outer part, I think, that was getting it. Um, so that leads me to believe that it was shed pretty early. You know, maybe like December, January. But definitely from this year. And his base has like an abscess, which is also interesting. It protrudes out pretty far, but. Still a cool one, but I think that wraps it up for today. Um, pretty soon I'm gonna walk back and we're gonna be back at it first thing. Good morning, day two, and to be honest with you, I'm a bit discouraged. I've been walking quite a ways. Yesterday I put on like seven and a half miles, I think, and found that one. And uh, today, I've only been walking maybe a mile, but um, nothing. And I'm trying everywhere. Like I'm up high right now in these like cedar thickets. Nothing. I jumped one group of deer. Um, pretty sure they were does, but I couldn't really tell, so I went and I checked it out and like where they were bedded and nothing. There's supposed to be a river down here. <sighs> anyway, that's the update. And um, where I'm at, I'm not gonna spend too much more time. I'm just gonna kinda find this, there's a river somewhere. Find a river, walk it back, and then uh, go try my usual spots and um, see if we can find some there.
Deadhead. That's kind of cool. Dang it. I saw an antler. I was hoping it was it. Not in all this just like grassy stuff. I don't know if they're out here really. There's a ton of trails, but. Hmm. Darn. Someone else find him. So I just took a snack break, um, but I think, I think the deer are incognito because I don't understand how I'm not finding even just like one. Um, and I know there's high deer density right here in this area. I jump them out of their beds, I see tracks everywhere, I, I hunt here so I know there's deer here. I'm just not sure where they're dropping antlers at. Like I feel like all the bucks are together and if I find one shed I will find all of them in a pile because <laughs> that's what it feels like. But um, I think I'm gonna call it quits for today. To be honest with you it's looking like springtime. There was like flowers blooming and everything so I think this is probably the last shed hunt of the year. Which is really sad um i don't know what my total is i want to say one two three four i want to say like like six maybe i don't know without looking but not a lot um but to be honest i didn't really like go to a lot of different places i pretty much stayed on the lease in iowa and this missouri public um so considering it's not too bad but uh yeah it's looking like spring so i think it's about time for turkey season so i'm gearing up for that and i cannot wait